All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome in. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you hit that like button. If you're watching on replay, make sure you say replay down in the chat below. We are going to go over today's thrift haul. None of you have seen it because we didn't do a live thrift today. We had our mother in law with us, and because of that, we decided not to go live, show her a little bit of the ropes. So you guys are going to see it first. Nobody has seen anything in our cart except for Central Illinois reseller. She was there, so she got to see some of the stuff, but some of the stuff she gave us. So you're going to see that here in a minute. Try to spin this around. There you go. That's better. Grab a bag real quick, too. <clears throat> for everybody to hop on in. What's good, Elliot? Elliot's in the chat. Elliot, you're first. Mom's in the chat. What's up, Mom? Maritz is in the chat. I know you just hit me up on the side. It says, do we have a live thrift haul? We do. We have a live thrift haul today. Uh, let me angle this up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now you can see my whole dome. Brown girl, what's up? Appreciate everybody hopping on in. We'll give it like another 30 seconds for people to hop on in. As you guys come in, let me know how your sales have been. Let me know your best sales, how your sales have been over the last couple of days. I know our sales are starting to increase because we're getting more items listed. So that's just normal. What's up, Tokyo? Tokyo's in the chat. Three today. Nice, nice. I just sold one right before the live. Hopefully they pay for it. They had said automatic payment was set up. And then actually, no, they just paid for it. Nice. We can talk about that in a second. Nope. It doesn't look like they paid for it. On this end, it doesn't show paid. Nope, still not paid for. It's a really, really good sale, but hopefully they pay for it. Five so far today. Nice. Marketplace is good for me. I don't sell on Facebook. No Facebook marketplace because my stuff just doesn't move there. Great sales past two days. Let's go. What's up, J-Ride? Uh, slow but listening. I stopped due to COVID. Ouch. Hopefully you feel better. What's up, Patriot Girl? Jennifer's in the house. Appreciate you guys hopping on in. Did I miss Red, White, and Blue today? We didn't do a live thrift. We did go today, but we didn't do a live thrift because we took um, a mother-in-law with us for the first time. And we were kind of like uh, showing her the rope, showing her what we do, um, how we do it. So I didn't want to do a live thrift. I'd rather just train her alone instead of um, having to do that and talk to chat and all that good stuff. So um, we'll be back to doing live thrifts next week. Next week, we'll be back on the live thrift grind. What platforms work for you? eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari? I was listing on Facebook Marketplace earlier this year. I listed all the same stuff. I listed on all four of those or all three of those sites. I still have 400 and something items listed on Facebook Marketplace. I literally haven't sold anything on Facebook Marketplace in four months, five months, something like that. So I don't list there. You're on early. It's Wednesday, Jen. Wednesday is always 8.30. Ah, oh, Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. All right, you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Live thrift haul. Let's get into it. I don't know what's in this bag. It might be women's. It might be men's. Look like it's women's. Looks like you're up to bat. Looks like you're up to bat. Boom. Here comes Kayla with her. I'm actually awake. Thrifting is my cardio tea. Chris is tea. Peak. Oh, I forgot to wear my other tea. My buried tea, it's down there. I'll show it to you after the live. I'll wear it tomorrow. I completely forgot to wear it. I was supposed to wear it tonight. Oh. Guys, I'm bummed that I wasn't live because I find the best stuff when I'm not live. And I really wish you guys were with me. If you follow me on Facebook, you know exactly what I found. I don't know if it's in this bag or not. My supposedly mom knows. She, she thought I was... Supposedly she freaked out. I didn't even see it. But supposedly she was, was like, oh my I God, freaked I out. Found it. Oh, trust me. Oh, Barry's sending you TikToks. Oh, Barry's so sweet. I know, I know. Yeah, that's why Only if you follow me on Facebook, you'll know what I found. Yep, you got to follow her on Facebook. K the Book Nerd on Facebook. All right. So, this is a women's Tommy Bahama. It's a silk tensile blend. We paid $7.50. I grabbed this for whatnot because it's really nice and it's still hot. So, so nice hot one, outside please. and it's really pretty. pretty oh, by the way, speaking of whatnot, both shows are pretty much loaded up. We're just going to add the onesies and twosies from this haul into the uh, whatnot shows. Both of them are loaded up. We have some crazy pieces. I'll show you guys at the end of the live exactly what pieces we have, um, but go check them out. Everything is loaded. I think we have like 80 bookmarks on those shows. I feel like it's going to jump to like 200 after you guys see what's on those shows. It's really, really good stuff. Vintage t-shirt boys will be happy. Did you find... I'm not going to answer you, Hunter. <laughs> nope. Okay, this is my mom. She found this. This is, hold on, I want to make sure I can rev it. This is a women's motorcycle. Oh, is it not flipped? Yeah, let me flip it really quick. There you go. There we go. Motorcycle jacket. 
it's kind of okay there's pieces on the inside mm -hmm. we paid we did pay thirty dollars but when we looked it up what did you say it was around a hundred yeah there was some for anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars so i decided to take the chance on it and see how well it sells i've never sold it before so i figured we pick it up and try it so shout Step out mom she eBay found item. it then we found some sweaty betty we paid 250 sorry i'm tired i'm trying to think what half of five dollars is hmm. <laughs> this is a nice sweater this is for ebay yep it's, eBay it's an ebay item sweaty betty i don't think anybody on whatnot might not know what, what sweaty betty is 250 for sweaty betty that's really good and that was in the pj section like i was just walking by and i'm like oh that's like i was checking for barefoot dreams in the the like the robes where they have because it has that soft like feel and i found that instead wasn't upset uh my mom also found some athleta it's a medium tall we paid 650 it's a nice cardigan this is going to be for whatnot one of the later like winter whatnots just a nice lightweight like longer cardigan sweaty buddy Shh. <laughs> keep it quiet found my first there. barefoot dreams the other day nice Barefoot Dreams, yes, my favorite. That's you. Let's see, there's any other. I think that the rest, is mine. The rest might be you. Okay. So I'll back out. Central Illinois reseller. We hey, met Central. her today. She was at um <laughs> she was at uh Red White and Blue with us. We hung out for a little bit, chatted it up. Appreciate you coming on over. If you guys ever see me out in the wild, feel free to come up and have conversation and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, it was awesome. Awesome meeting you. Um, somebody said size on the sweaty Betty. What's the um, size on it? It is a medium. It's a medium. If you guys see anything you like, if you're on Facebook, you can DM me on Facebook. If you're watching this on TikTok or YouTube, message me on Instagram or Facebook. Let me know what you want. Like item color always helps me out at the end of lives because if you just say like sweaty betty and we have three pieces of sweaty betty super hard and then we have to go back and forth so just say or snap a picture like do a screenshot of your phone and uh dm me let me know what you want and then i'll always give you a better deal nice meeting you both too it's awesome meeting you uh first men's item is a roper shirt this is a really nice roper it's like a it kind of reminds me of a barn jacket, even though it's a lightweight but it kind of has that barn jacket look to it good western brand to be on the lookout for Roper, we only paid $4 for this. I think this is going to go eBay because I don't really think this will do amazing on whatnot. It will sell for more than $4 on whatnot, but I don't think it'll be too crazy. So I'm going to put on eBay. Best ways to take picture jackets. We use a, uh, we use a light box, but um, anything, just take it on the floor, take it in a well-lit area. That's what I would say. Did you do a live thrift? No, we didn't do live thrift today because we had our mother-in-law with us or my mother-in-law with us, her mom. So we, I decided not to do a live thrift today, but we'll be back live thrifting next week. Next up, white tags were not half off. Mott and Bow jeans, I did pay $10 for these, but I love picking up Mott and Bow, one of my favorite jean brands to pick up because they sell so fast. Not for a crazy amount of money. These will go between $35. I list these for $38. I take $35 off offers on them, but they normally always sell for $38 free shipping. Mott and Bow denim jeans. They have a bunch of these at the store too. They were just priced a little too high, so I decided to leave those for next week. That's definitely an eBay item. Do you like Polo Ralph Lauren? Yes, I do. We pick them up all the time. We actually picked up a bunch today, so I'll show you exactly what we what we picked up. Um, twelve fifty. I did pay up for this, but this is a men's Lululemon. Wherever the logo is, it's down at the bottom somewhere. You see it? I'm missing it. What? There it is, right there. Oh, I love it. Lululemon. This store knows Lululemon, so they do price it up. Uh, but it's just a simple black Lululemon polo. This is something we'll definitely throw up on whatnot. I can see this easily going for around 20 bucks. So we turn 12.50 into 20. It sells super fast. Can you pull up the Betty again, please? Yeah. This is the Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty. It's like a. <laughs> you have to say it like that. Too. Sweaty Betty. It's a <laughs> like a tur turtle neck, right? Turtle neck, mock neck kind of thing. Um, here's your tag. Sweaty Betty tag, size medium, just like a waffle knit sweater. It's got a little tie, a little pouch in the front. Sweaty Betty. Super nice. Super soft. What size is that polo? Um, let me see the black polo really quick. It should say it on the bottom. It might not have the size. We might have to take measurements of it because it doesn't have the little size tag on it. You see it anywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, who if was I that? I had to guess. 
Uh, Lily, hit me up on the side. I'll tell you what the exact um, pit to pit is. It looks like it's a medium. medium slash large, but I'll give you the pit to pit after live. So just hit me up. I've sold that same exact sweaty Betty before the sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty. <laughs> Speaking of Polo Ralph Lauren, this is just a simple Polo Ralph Lauren Polo. We only paid four bucks for it. Surf's up method. Buy them for under five. List them for seventeen ninety nine plus ship and sell them. So this is just a nice, simple, striped Polo Ralph Lauren Polo. List this for seventeen ninety nine plus ship. Move it quick. Move it, move it quick. Uh, what's your most expensive find? Just curious from today. Um, I don't. Probably that jacket that we already showed. The the jacket. The, the most motorcycle jacket. The most expensive find that I've ever found at a thrift store. I don't know. Um, I mean, I did pay up for the Kuji sweater. I paid like one hundred seventy five for that one. One hundred fifty or something like that. I don't know. Off the top of my head. All time. Yeah, I don't know all time. That's a hard. That's a hard question. Um, would be probably like that Kuji sweater is probably the most I've ever spent at a thrift store on one item. Yeah, seventeen ninety nine offers off. Yeah, I don't want to take offers because people will offer me ten dollars on that, and I'll be like, no, no, not happening. Um, next up, we got a little Vinny Vines, a little Vinny Vine action. This is a ten dollar Vinny Vine. I think it was a good size too. Yeah, it's a size two XL. So that's why I paid up for a little bit. Great size on this. I can see this going for 25 to 35 and it should sell pretty quick. That's going to go probably on eBay. Uh, do you ever sell David Donahue shirts? No, I normally always pass on David Donahue. David Donahue, I think you can buy at on Nordstrom Rack in every size right now because nobody picks it up, unfortunately. I um, mean, I think it sold at like Ross and those stores too. Um, this is a Vineyard Vines, another one, size medium. I did pay $6.50 for this. Nice pink Vinny Vines. Nothing too crazy about this one. Just normal Vinny Vines. Again, 25 to 35 on that one. This one, really nice. I'm surprised they, they put this so low. I did pay full price for it. Uh, paid six bucks. But this is a Polo Ralph Lauren. But as you can see down at the bottom, it says Ocean Wash Linen, which means it's 100% linen. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren looks all wrinkly because of the linen, but this should sell for I'm probably going to list it for $24.99 plus ship, and I guarantee that sells within two weeks. We have to stay away from kid sizes. We normally always pass on kid sizes. Pasadena's in the house. Uh, we got Chicago in the house. Yeah, everybody, let me know where you're watching this from. Again, no live thrift today. This was all just picked up, and we're just showing you guys what we picked up, but no live thrift today. Uh, $5 is what we paid. Another just a simple Polo Ralph Lauren stripes. Got the pony logo on the front. Uh, this one I'll probably list for $19.99 plus ship because it's a better size. Missouri, Texas, Oregon. Um, why stay away from kids? Kids, I'm sure there's kids brands that do good, but for the most part, when you go down the kids section, there's not a lot of stuff. Even at the prices we're paying at thrift stores, we're normally paying around $5 a piece. There's just not enough wiggle room to make a profit. So we normally stay away from um, from kid sizes. Shout out to Central Illinois. I think this is the one that she gave us. This is a Mount Hardware size XL women's. We only paid $4 for it. She was down visiting her parents and she said she doesn't have enough room to take this back and she didn't want to have to worry about shipping it back. So she was like, here you go. You can have this. So we definitely appreciate it. She's nice so little... Sweet. Lug nut. Yeah, she was super this nice. This is really good condition. Really good. It feels like almost new. Yeah. And it's got a nice well, feel look, to it's it. It's got a little purple logo. Oh, look. look. It has, a, has a logo on the bottom and a logo on the top. This is probably something we're either going to list on eBay or we might throw this up on whatnot for one of our winter auctions. We have tons of stuff for our winter auctions, so that might go into a, a death pile. The nut. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were awesome. You were awesome to talk to. Um, That's yours. Let's see. I got some more men's stuff in here. Next up, a little $5 Polo Ralph Lauren. There's the tag right there. Newer label tag, just a simple, it's almost, it's not a flannel. It's a little bit heavier, but it's not a flannel. Um, but this will sell super fast just because it's just Polo Ralph Lauren style right there. It's got the pony logo on the front. Um, probably list that one a little bit higher because it's a little bit nicer of a, of a material for like $19.99 plus ship. Chicago, what's up? What's up with the lack of the, yeah, Patriot Girl. You get everybody in action over there. Hit that, uh, hit that like button. I did pay up a little bit for these. I paid $10, but I've sold these in women's. I've never sold these in men's before, but I'm sure the men's do better. Aviator Nation um, jeans. I'm actually curious on how good these do. The women's sold super fast, but then the person opened a return and returned them because they said it didn't fit. So they're relisted. They just got relisted last week. 
So we'll see how the men's do. If you guys have ever sold it before, let me know down in the chat how you've done with those with men's styles. I know the women's go for like 30 to 35. I'm sure the men's do a little bit better. Here we go. Nice, easy pickup, easy bread and butter. Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. We paid $250 for just a simple short sleeve Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. If you know, this brand is no longer, or this line is no longer made anymore from Ralph Lauren. So these are easy pickups. They'll sell for around $25 free ship. Uh, I put my pre-show bids on both shows coming up. Appreciate the detailed listings. Thank you. Appreciate you. I think pretty soon we're going to do... God, I hate when people call me, especially at night. Like, why are you calling? Why, why am I getting scam, scam calls at 8.52 at night? And why is the helicopter deciding to fly over right now? Um, I think pretty soon we're going to do pit-to-pit measurements on everything. You guys are about to hear the helicopter fly over. I swear, it literally just flew over like five minutes ago. I was like, oh, great. It's not going to be on the live. They won't have to hear it. And here it is flying over again. Every night, I swear, every single night, same time. It's like nine o'clock on the dot. I have a question, but it's so long in chat, it will cut me off. Stephanie, if you have that question, you can hit me up on Instagram. I'll answer you on Instagram. If that's uh, too long to write it out. Next up, Zegna. I don't pick up Ermagerg Zegna. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that long one. I did pay $15 for it. It was just reduced. So at Red, White, and Blue, we learned when it has R on the tag, that means it was just reduced. So that means they had this probably listed at like 60 bucks, and nobody picked it up. So they put it back to... Uh, 15 all the way down to 15 i picked this up this is a solid white tuxedo shirt the tuxedo shirts always do better not only is it solid white tuxedo shirt but it's cotton and it's silk which is really great um i looked up comps they were super hard to look up in store but i'm assuming this is a 60 dollars sale right here so um ermagerg zegna really really nice shirt i'll <laughs> let you guys know what this sells for silk cotton blend tuxedo shirts tuxedos always sell good always you pay sales tax when sourcing um, I do pay sales tax when sourcing. Yes. Um, it's a tax write off anyway. So you can just write off your, you either get it taken off in the beginning or you get taken off at the end of the year, either way. Um, but you do use your, the taxes you paid as a cost of goods in either way. So men's aviator uh, nation jeans for 50 to 60. Nice. That's what I was thinking on mine too. I think 50 to 60 is what I was thinking they were going to go for. Ermagerg, exactly. Yeah. Nobody, does anybody actually know how to pronounce that brand? Ermagerg. Um, that's yours. This is mine. This is my last one. These are all yours. Next up, we got a little foot joy. I don't really pick these up too often unless they have a good pattern to them and they don't have any club embroidery. Uh, but we paid $5. Just a, This one does have a good pattern and it doesn't have any club embroidery. So there's your pattern on it. Um, I'm not going to list this thing super high. Top end, $19.99 plus ship. And I will put offers on this. Somebody offers me $15 for it. I'll probably just take it. Turn five into 15 plus shipping. Completely fine with me. About $10 profit on that one. What tux brands do you look out for? Um, I just sold, I think it was a Bonobos. So one, I can't remember what it was. I think it was a Bonobos tuxedo suit jacket. Bonobos is good. Um, J. Cruz are good. Some J. Cruz are good. Some uh, Brooks Brothers are good. You just have to make sure it's the, the higher end line. Um, but there you go. There's some some easy ones. So, is it glitching? I, I know I just got a call, so hopefully it's not glitching too bad over on TikTok. I might have to end it and then restart it if it's glitching too bad the stupid scam callers in the middle of the night decide to call me. They call me normally in the morning. I've never got a nightly scam call. All right, hop on. Mm -hmm. If they say it's glitching too bad, then I'll just restart it. Okay. No glitch in here. Okay. We're good. Good on your end. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hop out and hop back in. It's just because I got a call. So I'm pretty sure your stream just lagged. It's really annoying. Okay. Scam callers. These are newer athletas. These are the salutation stash pocket two, seven, eight tights. Gosh, that's such a long name. We paid four dollars for. I know they're solid and they're basic, but they are the newer ones. When Athleta has the title written into it, those are the newer style. Um, I did grab these for whatnot, but if these were going to go on eBay, they'd go for like twenty and twenty-five. Mm -hmm. And they're really soft. I I like those leggings. Hey Lexington, how much did y'all spend today? Um, it was like five sixty, I think, or something like that. No, five, yeah, there's seats in my five seventy, five sixty-seven to be exact. This is just another one. It is a size small citation seven eight tights. Um, again, we paid four dollars. These ones have cute um, like pattern on the side. So again, for whatnot, if not, if we do put it on eBay, twenty twenty five. I can't resist the good athletas. 
I love your shirt. Shout out. Chris, Chris Epke. Epke. You can buy a shirt. You can buy this exact shirt. I think he has it on the TikTok shop app, actually, um, on his channel, Chris at Peak. Or you go to Chris at Peak.com. Um, or you go to his whatnot shows. He has them everywhere. He has shirts everywhere. <laughs> speak of him and he speak, shall appear. Yeah, speak of him and he <laughs> that just was really weird. Chat. <laughs> Somebody said nice shirt to Kayla. There he is. He's throwing hot dogs at you. You yeah. got to eat them. No, I'm not eating what? the hot dogs. What? You have to eat the hot no, dogs. No, you eat the hot dogs. I can't. I'm all the way over here. So eat them from afar. I, I, I have to reach over you. I can't do it. You have to eat the hot dogs. It's part of the game. <laughs> you just conjured him up. That was really weird. <laughs> that was really weird. We've summoned him. <laughs> okay. So this is a smart pack. These are horseback um, equestrian pants. We paid six fifty. These are new at tag. These are breeches. I did look these up, and they should go for around $30, 35 When I looked them up, nice new at tags. I've never picked this one up before, so Piper. So don't quote me when they sell. If they sell, I'll let y'all know. But equestrian. Um, there's a little horse right there. There's the logo. Does anybody have experience with this one? Equestrian. Equestrian pants. I've had good luck with equestrian pants. Piper are great. Okay, good. So I looked at it, it had a decent sell through rate and it was like 30, 35. I'm like, all right, let's give it a shot. So um, the, this is my bag. Okay. All this right, I'll bag. be back. Oops, sorry. Schwap. Schwap. What did Jacqueline say? Um I said his name three times. Yeah, Chris Epi, Chris Epi, Chris Epi. Yeah. Boom. He disappears. <laughs> How much does it cost to ship? Depends on the item. Uh, most of our items are um, ground advantage, so they'll be under a pound. So they'll typically be between five and six dollars to ship. And sometimes we charge shipping to the customer. Other times we get free shipping. What's up, Ethan? Ethan's over on uh, on uh, YouTube land as TCR because he's cool. He has only three letters <laughs> in his name. Chris at Peak would use um, three letters for his name, but it would be Cap, and he doesn't want it to be be Cap. Next up, a little ten, uh, five dollar pickup. This is bread and butter. This is easy money. Ariat, it's a really good size too. Size 2XL, simple blue Ariat. It's got flip cuffs too. Nice little flippies. Um, I might throw this up on whatnot. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. This is a good eBay item, but we might give it to you guys on whatnot. So throw it over there in the whatnot pile. You might see that this weekend. I see it this weekend. Scroll down a little bit. Next up we have, these are, people pass on these all the time. I always pick them up. Polo Ralph Lauren. I did pay four dollars for them but they're not only shorts they're the shorts with the heavy cargo pockets like the big heavy cargo pockets these always tend to do a little bit better because guys like those big pockets on the side um i think i listed one last week i got an offer on it already for like 20 bucks i listed it for 35 so we'll see what these do but for four bucks i can't pass these up nice big heavy um, polo ralph lauren heavy pocket shorts next up um, I picked this up as a scrub top. I don't know how these do, but I couldn't pass it because the price was good. It's $2 for a little Carhartt scrub top, size small. I think this is a men's Carhartt scrub top. So we'll list that one and see how well it does. I mean, I can't beat $2, $2, $2. yeah, with the flip cuffs. Yep. Uh, Walrus, what's up? I like your name. Y'all are awesome to teach us about this. New Albany. Um, where, what's MS? What's MS? What's MS? Like a state? New Albany MS. What, which state is that? I don't Massachusetts. know. Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Okay. Mass we'll go with Maybe. Massachusetts. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Mass. Okay. Mass. Massachusetts. <laughs> um, next up, Absolute Rebellion. Um, I left this last week, I believe it was. And oh, I, Mississippi. <laughs> is it Mississippi? So which, every, which one uh, is it? Somebody said Mass, and then other people said Mississippi. See, nobody knows their states. Uh, Florida, it's easy. It's the only F state to remember. Um, 750, Absolute Rebellion. I left it last week. Picked it up this week. I looked up comps. Um, I think one of these sold for like 40 bucks. Um, not the same exact one, but it was one with that logo on the front. The Absolute Rebellion Automobile Club. Nothing crazy on the back, but I've sold this brand before for good money. So I left it, picked it up the following week. So um, You must have to sell a lot of items to make a living out of this. The profit is small compared to work. Uh, you're putting in how many items do you need to sell to make a liv livable wage so teresa um i'll give you what we've sold already this year oh, not restream i gotta go to my spreadsheet yeah you have to sell a lot of items obviously to make make a full-time income but this year alone we have sold where's my number my number i'm looking for number of sales where's my number of sales on the sheet somewhere on this page right here do you see it um, Total sales, 
total units. I just average go, units sold. I today. just go to monthly. That's fine. Oh, okay. Actually, we're literally that's why I couldn't find it because it's a whole number. We're at five thousand units sold for the entire year. We're at one hundred seventy-three thousand dollars in sales. So yes, you do have to sell a lot to make a livable wage, but that's normal. Um, we list now. We're listing back up to twenty items per day. We've done that every single day this week. Um, now that her uh, my mother-in-law is on, her mom's on, um, we're able to list twenty a day easily. Um, I think we're going to increase that to probably 30 to 40 items a day um, every single day that we're listing, um, hopefully within the next month. So that's going to really jump all of those sales up. We're going to make way more money. I've done a nice name brand clothes um, for ladies and I have no luck on Marketplace. I don't sell on Marketplace. We sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. What's up, Allison? Appreciate your flower power. I like your name too. You I guys love got, that name. You guys got cool names. I wish I had a cool name. Mine's just K-Way. It's just my name and my wife's name combined. You flower power. You're cooler. Um, Peter uh, Peter Millar, we did pay up for these. Uh, this one, we paid $12.50 for it, but it's a crown crafted, which is the higher end line of Peter Millar. Um, nice stretchy material on this. This is an easy $35. Bucks. Um, it'll sell really fast because it's that crown crafted. What's up, Indiana? What's up, Liv? Liv's over on Facebook. You're, you're on a different platform tonight. I like it. All right. I wanted to try this one out. Everybody keeps telling me Abercrombie is back. Let me know how you guys think I did on this one. This is an older Abercrombie and Fitch label right there. It's a size XL. We only paid $4 for it. It's a super nice heavyweight flannel. Let me know. Will this sell? You guys keep telling me Abercrombie is back. So I figured I'd give it a shot with a little $4 pickup. Nice heavyweight flannel. I think I'll look up some comps. I think I'll probably list this anywhere between $20 to $25 plus ship. I feel like I've seen that for women's jeans too. There's a certain one that does really well. Yeah, there's well. that with um, yeah, Abercrombie and Fitch. There's certain those ladies in the chat. Which Abercrombie and Fitch jeans? There's a certain style. It's like a stretch mom I've jean or something it. like that. Or I've never found it, but I keep seeing people talk about it. I grabbed a pair of Abercrombie cargo shorts for a dollar. Nice. Yeah, I don't know which one it is, but it will it will sell. Everybody's saying yes, it will. So. Uh, but you can say that's the K way. Yes, I can't. We can say that. That catchphrase is good. Curve love. That's what it is. Curve love. That's the one Curve that sells. Love. I just sold three pairs of Abercrombie jeans. See, they sell. So we just got to pick up the right ones. They're, they're all over the place. We just don't know which ones to pick up. High rise mom jean too. So curve love and high rise mom jean. Those are the two we need to be looking for. Next up, we got a little vintage Pendleton. Uh, we paid twelve fifty for this. So we did pay up for it, but it's a solid red, hundred percent wool, Nice flannel Pendleton, perfect time of the year to pick one of these up. Um, last year I was moving similar ones for around forty to fifty dollars free ship, so that's probably where I'll list that one at and just wait a month or two and it'll start selling. Um, are you used to are you used to buy them for four dollars? I'm selling immediately. We we'll find them weekly in the thrift all the time. All of a sudden they don't sell anymore. Okay, we'll try it out. We'll see. It's a four dollar gamble, so you can't you can't lose on four dollars. What cross listing platform um, do you use? Um, and is it app or web-based? We use List Perfectly. It's web-based, so you can use it anywhere. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your computer. Um, I do have a link in, the, in my pin post over on Facebook. Go through that link, and you get 30% off your first month. Next up, Lil Polo Ralph Lauren. Simple one. Um, this one we paid $5 for. Uh, again, Polo Ralph Lauren, $17.99 plus ship. Newer labels are the ones you mainly want to stick to, although there is some um, differences with that. You can pick up some older labels if they're better. Uh, sold one for 55 um, plus ship in the summer. Nice. Nice. Next up, Vinnie Vines. This is a size large. We paid $10 for it. Um, I probably should. Actually, this was Vineyard Vines colors. That's why I picked it up. Um, 25 plus uh, 25 to 35 free ship is probably where this one will sell at. I might have should have passed on that one because it's a little pricey, but it does have the good colors. So, meh. Meh. Next up, I think it's another Vinnie Vines. Yep. This one's an extra small, but they just reduced the price and it was half off. So I only paid four bucks for a Vineyard Vines extra small. Bad size on this, but it was only four bucks. I'll probably do the surf's up method on that one and list it for, you know, $17.99 plus ship. Where do you keep your pictures? My pictures are always on my phone. Um, I have a one terabyte iPhone, so I can keep hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures on there. Um, you're bouncing between me and surf's right now? Oh, we're, we're competitors right now. That surfs up guy. This really good. Be on the lookout for this brand. Really good. It always sells super fast. We only paid three dollars for the Faherty um, long sleeve size small, and I believe this is linen. It feels like linen. I'm assuming it's linen. 
really nice. Um, clearly the thrift store we thrift at doesn't know for yet. I'm sure they will. They always watch my videos. So I'm sure they'll start pricing those up. Like they price up the vineyard vines and then the vineyard vines doesn't sell. And then we pick it up for four bucks. So it's all a cycle, but really, really good um, piece right there. For sitting right at the end of the rack. Next up, next up, another bag. Let's see. This looks hopefully is women's. Yeah, it looks women's. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is one men's, and I think the rest is yep. The rest is women's. All right, you're almost on deck. So you guys will see this in a video. I'm gonna make a little short video probably later today about this and put it out. But we went to one Goodwill um, afterwards, and we only picked up one item, and this is the item we picked up. We paid eight dollars for this. This is a Robbie G. Really nice Robbie G, size XL, beautiful color to this, nice pink. It's like a like a darker pink, like a fuchsia. And then, of course, it has the flippers on it. Really nice flip cuff right there. Really, really nice Robbie G. Um, I might throw this up on Whatnot um, as a draw piece because it is a super nice piece and we didn't pay that much for it. Um, or I could list this on eBay. I think minimum I get $50 for this just because the pattern's really good, the flip cuff's really good. So... Still deciding, but it'll probably be on this weekend's whatnot. Only item we got from that Goodwill. We went through that Goodwill. Um, we had a pair of Doc Martens in our cart, and they ended up being too damaged, so I ended up leaving behind. But there really wasn't anything there. Just a bunch of junk. You're up to bat. My turn, but there's something in my eye. Aww. Sorry, guys. Don't cry. Ugh. Okay. Sold a rubber gram. Nice. The source is yours. So the staples used by red, white, and blue damage. No. Um, normally, whenever if you take the tags out, if you open up the staple and you pull it straight out, it doesn't cause any damage. Very rarely does it cause damage. Sorry, guys. There's literally like something. Okay. I think I got it. All right. This is a U find, but. Yep. But it's a U find. For $6.50, we have a women's medium Denali jacket, North Face. Nice one. Yeah, this one's nice and it's in good condition. This is going in our winter pile for what? Probably not, whatnot. Maybe? Yep. yep. You have a winter pile yet? Oh, no. I don't have a winter pile. This is you. Or is this a woman's? It's a woman's. Oh, but I did find it. This is a woman's wool rich. We paid eight dollars because it was not half off. This is a nice. Oh my gosh! Look at that! It's like a, that little goose. Reminds me of like a grandma is sweater, a like a goose on the front. It's like, a, it's like it looks like a wreath. These so are like three like D. Yeah, it's like a little. Oh little my gosh! Balls all over it. Yeah, it's a nice. Nice work. They had another one sitting <laughs> right funny. next to it, but it had it had stains all over. This one is like minty condition, but that one was That's too funny. stained up, I so like I had to that. leave it behind. It's a goose. Was this was it the Goodwill bins? No, we we go to red, white, and blue. That's this haul. The Robert Graham he got though is just from a regular Goodwill. This is probably gonna go eBay. This is another U. Yep. Ooh, a two XL woman's North Face, really good size. This is like a teddy sweater. We paid six fifty. Really, really cheap for a. North Face Teddy Sweater. Super nice condition. Yeah. Nice fluffy. I love these. These sell really good. And it's a great size. 2XL. That's definitely probably going to go on a whatnot auction. Because um, yeah. we don't have many 2XL Teddy Sweaters right now. We have like all smalls and extra smalls. Oh. Guys, this was a failed video in the making. Because I never remember to like record anything. That's why my videos are horrible. And you didn't go live today. You found so much good <laughs> I stuff. I know. I just, I just need to keep my we, phone going at all times. Everybody's going to think we planted all this stuff. We and I know. I, I swear we found all this at Red, White, and Blue. We didn't plant any of this. So sad. Okay. I was wearing my Barefoot Dreams. And when you wear what you're looking for, you find it. Because he just had his Viore video. And then Dusty put out her Disney video. So I found the Barefoot okay. Dreams. <laughs> bet, bro, bet. And then she <laughs> walks away with her thing. Ah. Uh, Paid 10 bucks. I am not passing up on Barefoot Dreams. This is so soft. One of my favorites. Um, this is going on whatnot. Definitely going on whatnot. Then this is a U. Let's nope. See. That's a that's a me, but it's a U. What, oh, okay. See. I see. I don't even think you see this. No, you didn't you? show me this. This is a men's section. I love finding Frank and Eileen. And it's not this just is a really good Frank and Eileen, Eileen, too. It's a dress. It's a shirt dress. This is Mary. What'd you pay? Five dollars for Frank and Eileen Five shirt dress. Yeah, it's a longer Ooh, one. Ooh, this is nice. Man, I get, Frank and Eileen is real good. I get good point. I get cool points. Yeah, for you this do one. get some cool points for this. This is in the men's. Yeah, it was in the men's. It's very. I guess so. It kind of looks like right. a. Yeah, this is cute. Really, really great brand. That's, that's, that's that'll go easy fast too. Money. That's eBay. Easy money. Does it have a hoodie? The barefoot, not that one. Not that one. No. And this is. 
a woman's, but you found it. This is men's. This is a men's Lulu jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can show it if you want. This is a men's Lulu jacket. I don't have the exact name for it. I got to look it up, but we paid 15 Nice full zip. Where's the logo? logo right there. I think it was there at it the is. bottom, yeah. Right there. Oh. Stitched in. Oh, stitched in logo right there at the bottom. It's a full zip. Really nice. Very nice. Very good condition. I find the size for you. We got to give me a minute. I'll find it. You can okay. go to the next one. I'll look for it. To look for is very nice. Yep, we've already got people asking. What size? For the size. What size? Lulu. I love Lulu. Lulu's. This one's a nice. This is. He goes through the women's, like, there's two separate cardigan sections, and he goes through one, and I go through the other. So these are his finds. Ooh, Patagucci, women's extra large Patagonia. We that paid Central $15. Illinois. <gasps> Central said, Illinois found this. Shout out Central Illinois. This is nice. This one's in a really good condition. Nice full zip. Oh my this gosh. one's a regulator, too. Of this is like... Very nice. Of course, this is one of those ones where they don't have the tag, like, easily shown. It's like buried in here somewhere it's like buried i might children. have to find that you might have to wait till i get off yeah i don't see any other products though what else did we find is this another lulu be there um uh, no you. that's a patagonia it's a patagucci Look oh at i the, see it i see it what? yeah there's a tag on the inside too it's another screen patagonia screen. this is a we paid five bucks for a patagucci this is a nice lightweight Patagonia. Aha. You found it? Found it. It's a men's size XL. There's a interior zip pocket too on this one. So this one's a men's Wait, XL. Let me see. Does it have the dots around lemon. it? Um, look, like look. the other code around it? No, no, no. It's just, just, the, XL. just okay. the XL. Just check. But it has a interior pocket. See, that's why I couldn't find it. It's all Lulu, Lulu lemon. You guys are, all interested are so that, cute together. Thanks, Sydney. You're interested in that? Hit me up on uh, IG or Facebook. First come, first serve. I'll check okay. the messages after. I looked this up. These are called the Tailored Sportsman English Riding Habits. These are another um, like equestrian brand breeches. Um, we did pay the full 15, but when we looked them up, they did have a good sell through. And what was it like 40? 40 and up? You're the one that looked these ones up. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Somebody's asking. He double checked my work. These are like 40. Yeah. Around 40. 40 to 50, I believe, is what I saw. And these are in like really good condition. So I wanted to give this one a try. The Patagonia is a, a women's size medium for the Patagonia, just simple base layer. Patagooch. This is definitely an eBay item. Yep. These might go this How do you cool. take pictures of the clothing? Uh, that light we box have, behind us. Yep. This light box, and then we have a spot on where the ring light goes over, and we do the close up pictures. Um, what is it? Next bag. I think this might be a U bag too. I see the weight on top, so I think that's you. Is the orange Patagonia fuzzy or soft shell? It's a hold on, let me. It's a regulator. It's just a regulator. I think it's soft. It's just like a almost like a fleece. It's just a soft like mm -hmm. fleece. Well, I should probably not hold those up on <laughs> camera. <laughs> just like a soft fleece. It's not fuzzy by any means. It's just soft, soft fleece. We try to cut my hair just then. No, I just don't want to show it on TikTok because <laughs> TikTok might ban me. So. You're holding up scissors. That's a lethal oh, weapon. Cute. Mountain Hardware. Yep. We paid seven. Central Illinois gave me that one too. I can't remember. This one's nice. It's like a longer. Oh, it's got a kangaroo pouch and everything. Yep. This one's really nice. Nice Mountain Hardware. Nice sweater. Super, nice. super soft. Nice heavy knit one too. <laughs> I don't know if this is women's. This might be a mix of both. I think it's a mix. Maybe it's mine. Maybe it's mine. Found some Beyond Yogas. These are size medium. We paid $5. These go pretty fast for us. Nope, you haven't missed the Farm Rio yet. It's in one of these bags. We haven't got to it yet. It's Farm Rio? Here. What? Oh, I mean, like, what is Farm Rio? I've never heard of that brand before. What? It's on eBay, right? Yes, Beyond Yogas for eBay. Those go for around 30 bucks. Um, How do you... How do you not keep everything in your size? Well, talk to her about that. <laughs> I, I can normally give it up. And a lot of times I, I do just, I just keep uh, Lululemon shorts. That's like my, my jam right now is Lululemon shorts. I, you know, if I do keep it, we can always sell it when I'm done wearing it, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, that's how I reason. Uh, just hopping on, where'd you shop today? We went to Red, White, and Blue. We spent $567 at this store, which isn't too bad. Um, advice on getting started, start watching a bunch of free content, just like the content you're watching right now. Learn a bunch from other resellers. 
spend tons of time watching videos and then sell items in your house first before you ever sell items out at thrift stores. So you get used to selling, sell that stuff that you're not using. The North Face Women's Extra Large. These are outdoor hiking pants. We paid six fifty. These are nice Capri outdoor hiking pants. Those might go on whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, they'll probably do good on whatnot. Okay. Nice pant. Hey, hopefully that is that is vintage polo Ralph Lauren sweater I picked up last year. Just sold for one hundred forty bucks. Let's go. I think I paid six dollars for that at Salvation <laughs> Army. Let's go. These are. Now, the tag is falling off, but that's fine. These are an extra large <coughs> Eileen Fisher 100% silk pants for $4. Actually, I was going to say joggers, but... No, they're not joggers. These they're are nice, good pants. size, 100% silk Eileen Fisher. Um, I don't always pick up pants, but because they're 100% silk and they're a good size, I grabbed them. Eileen Fisher has been selling really good. We just sold the Eileen Fisher top today for forty bucks, used mm -hmm. condition. So silk top. If you buy, if you buy the right Eileen Fisher, they will sell. Mm -hmm. Did you miss a live today? No, we didn't do a live thrift because um, we had our mother, my mother in law. I always say our mother in law, but that's her mom. Um, we had mom with us today, so um, we didn't do a live thrift because we were kind of showing her the ropes, showing her exactly what we do, like the thrifting, and then like reviewing all the items before we leave and how we calculate the items. So that way, if we ever take her with us, she can just blend right in and go right in um, to thrifting with us. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't do that. I tried my grill today for the first time. Food was old and went bad. So you grilled. Ethan, are you struggling? <laughs> what is happening? Ethan we grilled. haven't heard from him in a couple of days. Yeah. He probably has food. How's poisoning. home life? I hear from him for a while, <laughs> but uh, Ethan, I, I didn't even go through the shoe section today. I meant to, before we left, because I was like, Ethan's probably not coming today, and I should go through the shoes for the first time in forever. And then I never did, because I completely forgot we Ethan We need to going. check on our son. Or he's struggling. Yeah, we need to check on him. <laughs> we might need to drive by his house tomorrow. Yeah, we need to check on him. Oh. These are Lululemon. These are the Ebb and Flow uh, Capri leggings. We did pay $12. I don't know if we're going to put these on eBay or if we're going to put these on... These are really what good on that? eBay, though. These these specific leggings do pretty good on eBay. So these are yeah, I think what was it like thirty five ish? Yeah, I think the last time we put these on whatnot, I don't think a lot of people know the exact style. Mm -hmm. So I think they went for like twenty bucks, and we could easily get forty for these. They sell really fast yeah. on eBay, so these might just go eBay this time. Um, Lulu specific Lulus, I think we have to put on eBay. What's up, Chelsea? You're not late. You're on time. You, you know you can always rewatch this if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. You can rewatch this entire live. After we're done, so don't feel like you missed out on anything. Hold on, this is a mix of his stuff. I'm just trying to get. I'm saving the best. For I was lettuce. the only one that ate the meat. He ate the rotten meat. Poor Ethan. <laughs> Ethan's like sitting there hungry now. He's struggling. He just, he just bought a new house and he can't even. He can't even cook his food. He's just. Uh, he's he he's growing up. Him, we we let him out of the. We let him out of the house and look. He doesn't even know how to cook his own food. He yet. left the nest <laughs> and <it's> just. <laughs> um, barefoot round two. Let's go. Size medium. Oh. This one is this one is very very soft. I yeah, love this one. one. Ten dollars. This one's a nice long barefoot dreams. Oh man, probably what not. But if I put these on eBay, yeah, like the, thirty five forty. Yeah, if not a little more because this one's a little. That one I think would go size. for a little bit more because it's a better size and it's one of those nice super fluffy ones. It's so soft. It is it is super soft. And my prized possession. Surprised I didn't hear her. Yeep. I squealed, Yeep. guys. I squealed in the aisle, okay, like a little pig. And my mom stared at me. She thought something was wrong with me. She's like, are you okay? What's wrong? Like, are you okay? And I was twitching and squealing because I finally found Farm Rio. Finally, finally, everybody finds this brand but me. And I've complained about it, but I finally found it in the wild. We did pay $20. I didn't even look up comps. We were buying this. I wasn't <laughs> letting it go. Hopefully it was okay, but... Look how pretty. It's 100% rayon, I believe, mm -hmm. is what it is. 100% rayon. Nice floral. Really pretty. Cardigan, lightweight, super nice. I looked up, tried to look up comps, but I couldn't find an exact comp. Yeah, we're going to have to do... Um, yeah, some really extensive research. Yeah. So I was like, I saw this, and I immediately was like so excited and just like jumping up and down because we found, well, we found the Barefoot Dreams back to back and this was like right after so um karina don't speak that language in my chat she just told you to keep it she said keep it i can't it's a size small otherwise uh, you know thank god <laughs> thank god i was so excited well okay but what would you call this because i was gonna say cardigan but i don't 
I think like it's a... cardigan, like a blouse, like it's open knit. Ladies, I need you. I need your help. What would you call it? Oh, you must wear it every week. We'll kimono? Find you wear. Okay. Kimono. 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 I just want to know. So like when I look it up, I know what to type. Kimono. Kimono. Okay. Thanks, guys. Keep I'm so all. excited. I found Keep a it right all. <laughs> Yeah, but oh. somebody said if, like I said, if you wear it, you'll find more of it. So if that was your size, you would just wear it every time you go thrifting. You find Farm Rio every time. I'm it's guaranteed. So now I wore Viore. I found Viore. I wear my barefoot. I found two barefoots. Today. Now we have to wear Gucci and Prada, and we'll find Gucci and Prada every time we go to thrift stores. <laughs> we'll take I, the richest people walking in there. My next brand now is Love Shack Fancy. That's my next one, but I'm just so excited that I can finally like mark that off. Check that off the list. I've been wanting to find that for so long. Yeah. I think that might be it for the women's. Yeah, I just got one more bag over there. I'll finish up this one, and then we'll check that one. But, yeah, that might be. That now might be everyone it. will find it this week. I feel like everybody's found it but me. So I'm like, I just want to find it. I, it's such a good brand, and I really want to find it. Now I finally found it. I was so excited. Okay. All right. I'm really excited. <laughs> She's, she'll talk about I this for like the next hour. It. That's why she's awake tonight, guys. She found Farm Rio. Normally, she's like, I'm tired. I don't really feel, you know, and then she finds Farm Rio. She's like, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do live. Let's do live. Let's go. Next up, I paid $15 for this. Did pay up for them, but they are built, B-Y-L-T, and they are the pants. Built pants. Um, if you look sell-through rate on these, I think it's 300%. They look like Lululemons. They feel like Lululemons. I think that's why people like them. They got that extra pocket on the side right there. Super nice, um, but yeah, 50 to 60 bucks is where these will sell for. That's why I didn't mind paying up. That's definitely an eBay item. I guess we can start a pile on the ground too. Um, I think I found, found another pair of these. Here they are right here. Again, $15 built, B-Y-L-T. Oh, I thought those were Lulu's when I was taking I know. those out of the bag. It literally looks, they look and feel like they Lulu's. They feel like Lulu's. But there's another pair right there. I could potentially lot these up and um, list them for like 100 bucks. They probably would sell, but I'll do them separate. I would think you would find more often than most. Farm Rio, yeah, we haven't found farm. That's the first Farm Rio we've ever found. So excited. Yeah, we're in Florida. We're in Florida. Um, do you do quarterly taxes or do you do once a year? Any tips? Talk to your tax advisor about taxes. We do once a year. We do not do quarterly taxes. There's reasoning behind that, um, but we don't do quarterly. I think maybe next year we might do quarterly or maybe throw a little bit quarterly, um, but this year, no quarterly. We do We do once a year. I like to have my money all year instead of giving it to the IRS and letting them hold it all year. Um, Marmot men's size 40 pants. We paid $5 for these perfect time of the year to pick up some nice hiking pants. As it gets cooler, these will start selling like hotcakes. Um, right now, if I listed these, they probably go for like 20 to 25. If I hold them a little bit, they'll go for like 35. We're all from surf lives. Appreciate you surf sending everybody over surfs up surfs up next up Mavi jeans. Paid $7.50 for these. Again, I love picking up Mavi and Mott and Bow, my two M jeans I love picking up. I'll list these for $38 free shipping or maybe $32.99 plus shipping, and uh, they, they will sell within a month. I always sell Mavi jeans within a month, so really good condition on these two. These look almost brand new. We got lots of jeans to list. This is a women's item. I found oh. this. Oh, no. Central Illinois found this, and she gave it to me, another one that she found and gave to us. It's a women's size 1W, 1X women's. Paid six fifty four. Just a nice long sleeve Harley Davidson, simple long sleeve tee. This will probably be in this week's whatnot show, either Friday or Saturday. Remember, go check out the show. Everything is loaded up except for the last like extra items we're gonna load up that we thrifted today. So go check it out because we got lots of good stuff in there. It says fourteen ninety nine. I get it. it says fourteen ninety nine. Like this one it says four ninety nine. But red tags were half off. Everything but white tags were half off. So this was half off. So we only paid $2.50 for marine layer pants. Be on the lookout for that label. Really, really good label. Marine layer for $2.50. $2.50. Like Those look comfy. $2.50 for marine layer. These might be women's. These kind of look like they're yeah, size now medium. Now that you're holding them up. Yeah, they're size medium. I think they are women's. But either way, they're $2.50 for marine layer. I mean, come on. $2.50 for marine layer? What? Crazy. Crazy stuff. Can't wait for your whatnot shows. Yeah, whatnot shows are going to be made. Lily, you didn't even see this. Lily, hold on. I got to show you this because you hit me up on the side, and I know you're going to appreciate this. Lily, I know you saw the other Jurassic Park one, but you didn't see this one. <laughs> Look at that. Vintage, made in the USA, men's size large, Jurassic Park, all over print. 
Nothing on the back on this one. It's vintage. It's got a couple little marks on it. Like right there, it's got a little mark on it. But I mean, come on. Jurassic Park. Crazy, crazy print. That's going to be on Whatnot Show. It's loaded up for a dollar. It's in there right now. It's on the second show. It's on Saturday Night Show. We also have another one um, loaded up. That's the one that Lily hit me up about. I think it was you, Lily, right? I think it was you. I'm coming for it. I know you are. That's why I had to show it to you because you hit me up on the side. This is you. You want me to show it? Whoa, I thought we put those back. Oh, you didn't put them back. Yeah, they I ended up. Swore we put those back. Yeah, you ended up. Okay, well. All right, well. We paid 15. That's why the number <laughs> That's why the number was so high. Remember, it was like a little bit higher than we thought it was going to be? Yeah. It's because of this. Um, these are Spanx. We shouldn't have picked these up. Um, they ended up in our cart. Uh, they're a size small. They're faux leather. We'll still make money on these, but $15 was a little too much. And we meant to put these back, but the, somehow they must have just fell in the cart and we kept them in there. So Spanx, faux leather. Um, not going to make a ton of money on these. But that's why we thought it was going to be right at 500 and it ended up being like five, 567 or something like that. So that and some of the, something else must have made it in the cart. Something else back into the cart. <laughs> what makes it vintage? It's made in the USA and it's single stitch. So that's what makes this vintage. Um, they don't make Hanes shirts anymore in the USA. So it says Hanes. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see on camera. But it says made in the USA right above my finger right there. Size large. And then it's single stitch. So the stitch right there, only one stitch on the sleeve, which means it's vintage, vintage t-shirt. Really, really nice one. Super, super crazy print. Super crazy print. I told you guys, we're only bringing the best, best on whatnot. The best on whatnot. It's going to be crazy. The next couple weeks is going to be insane. Um, last one, I think that's mostly men's. Or is it women's? Women's? It's women's? You're off the bat. You guys are stuck never, with me again. I didn't realize how much you got today. <laughs> found more stuff. What's up, man? No, I really Bear? thought that was it. I don't know. After I found the farm Rio, we found him, and I was like, we can leave the store now. Like, I've accomplished that. Hi, Surf Boy. Surf's up, surf's <gasps> up picker. Hey, Surf's. You gotta call him. You can't call him Surf's up finds. You gotta call him because J Ride always messes up his name. So you gotta call him, like, Surf's up picker, <laughs> Surf's up uh, thrifter, Surf's up. Uh, what's another name that people use? Surf's up shop. You can use Surf's up shop. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Um, I totally forgot I found this. Petaloha, which is a uh, vintage Pettigucci. Uh, we did pay 15 but I kind of want to try it on whatnot. Yeah. That's for a nice vintage, little whatnot And piece. it's a really pretty dress, and it's a good size. It's a size 6. Excellent condition, too. So, we're going to put that on there. Pick her up here. What else did we do? I'm reading Surf's comments. Why are you giggling? Because I read Surf's Pick comments. Pick her up here. Okay. Outdoor Voices. These are a size large. We paid $5. These are going on eBay for probably like between 18 and 20. Yeah. Plus ship. Plus ship, yep. We'll do the surf method surf on method. Outdoor Voices. Hello from Australia. What's up, Australia? Hello. Surf smells. Surf <laughs> That's smells. what Ethan says. I agree. Hello. From the down under. Do I sound Australian? That was... No, I tried. I don't have an Australian accent. I can't Athleta, do size extra large. This Ooh, is those are nice. newer style Athleta. These are nice pants. Stretch. They're not joggers. They're just regular sweats. We paid $8. But they're a good size. Probably whatnot. Whatnot, maybe? Yeah, I think these will be good on whatnot. They're a great size. Good style. Perfect time of the year. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Found Dover Saddlery. We've picked this up before. Another <laughs> equestrian pair of breeches. We paid five dollars. Nice solid blue, really good condition. The part where like they sit on the saddles all in good condition. So these what did we sell the last one for? I don't remember. I don't that. remember. I think it was like right around 35-ish, somewhere around there, I think. Something like that. Say like 30-ish, just to be 30 safe. 30-ish, just to be safe. eBay eBay. Um, then we found some beta brands. These are a size large. S petite. I was saying small petite, and he's I like, no, short. I think it's short petite. Right, ladies? I think it's when it says S petite, that means it's short petite, right? It would make sense because this is a I was short. like, what is a large, small petite? That doesn't make sense. The fact that I know that before you know that. It's just <laughs> Okay, listen. Yeah, I don't have a reason. But, you know. Full set of Dover should... 30, 35. Um, okay, those are a full full cover. 
What else did Small I Small and short. There you go. Okay, so that's, you know, works for me. Mm. Um, these are Athletas. These are a small, tall. Small, tall. Lightning camo tights. We paid six fifty. I know they're small, but they have the camo print. And they're the newer style. That's why they it says what it is on there. Got the zipper on the back. Oh, yes, my favorite with the leggings. So these... Probably what not. Um, yeah. What not or eBay. eBay, again, would be $20, 25 yep. If we put them on eBay. These are mine as well. Man, I had a lot of stuff. I shut down, I'm telling you. After I found the Farm Rio, I'm just like, I'm good. Uh, these are Women's Prana, size 14. Um, we paid ten dollars. I'm pretty positive we've probably sold out of all the women's prana that we've had. They just keep selling. So mm -hmm. nice okay. outdoor hiking pants. These I believe are convertible. They have the button. Yep. Yep. So these go to Capri. Yeah, I think the last pair we sold was like twenty five ish. So yeah. and they sell super fast. Like within a month, we always sell our women's prana, which is weird because men's prana sits, but women's prana actually moves. Yeah. Um, I think we're almost sold out of women's prana stuff. We might be. I was gonna say I don't. Rest might be mine. I think so. Just checking. Yeah, I think it's all yours. Okay, I'll all finish. Right. I'll finish it off. That's why I watch Kayla learn new things. Dover. Yeah. I Dirt surf doesn't surfs. watch me. I don't. I don't learn anything from that guy. He doesn't learn anything from me. <laughs> what about hoodies? Hoodies sell. You gotta find the right hoodies. We already showed a couple of hoodies on this on this live. Uh, next up, we got a. Where is it? Carhartt. This is a men's XL tall. We picked this up for five bucks, paid a little bit up on this one, but it's a good size XL tall, just a simple Carhartt um, Henley. I'll list this one for $17.99 plus ship. Do the surf up method on that one. Get it in and out the door. What about hoodies? Piranha hoodies. Um, piranha hoodies. I don't think we've ever, I, I think, it, I think we do have piranha hoodies, but they're in, um, they're in my storage unit right now. So I haven't even like listed them yet. So I'll let you know. I don't know. Dover is a um, house brand for Dover Dover saddle, Saddlery. By the way, if you guys aren't following Spencer, if you want to know anything about one, Dover Western... Knows. Yeah, Dover, Dover knows. Yeah, Dover knows. Spencer, Dover knows. Spencer knows Dover. <laughs> Spencer knows Dover. Spencer knows all Listen the Western brands. Spencer's probably wearing something, probably wearing a cowboy hat at this exact moment sitting on her couch. Like she doesn't take it off until she goes to bed. And then she puts like a little cowboy hat on her head when she goes to bed. But she knows all... The Western gear. She has a ton of great knowledge. She does bins um, videos too. So if you want to learn stuff about the bin, the bins, that's a really great source. See, she's wearing it right. She knows that's why she said stop it because she knows she's wearing a, a a cowboy hat right now, little little tiny cowboy hat. B Draddy. Um, I only paid two dollars for this one. It does have a club embroider on the front, but B Draddy for two dollars, long sleeve. Um, winter's coming up. This will sell really fast for us. Even if I do the surf set method on this and list it for seventeen ninety nine plus ship, I paid two two bucks for it. I'll make about $12 profit on a $2 bet, um, investment. I love going secondhand shopping. We don't call it thrift. We call it op shopping. Yeah. Up in, uh, up in Australia. I think there's a couple I follow on. I used to follow on Instagram. I don't know if they make any more videos, but yeah, they call it op shopping. I think they do it in, um, in England too, right? They call them op shops in England, something like that. Do you wash clothes before you sell? Only if they have stains or bad smells is the time we wash our clothing. In my first hundred bucks this week. Um, thanks for giving me the motivation to try to resell. I wanted um, to for for years, but have watching you guys decided it was my time. Let's go, Lacey. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome. Next up, I found this as a women's piece, but I guess I'll show it. Paid four bucks for it. I really like the details on this. It's a women's North Face, just lightweight fleece. Paid four bucks, but look at that like collar. Really nice, like flip down collar. Just a nice lightweight. This is something that'll either go on eBay or we can probably put that up on whatnot. If you guys like North Face, Patagonia, um, cool brands like that, literally come to our winter whatnot shows. Um, I probably have at least 100 to 200 North Face sweaters, flannels, jackets, all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for those shows. It'll be in freaking sane. Why do you call it Surf's Up Method? Does he make up a new way to resell? No, so Surf's Up, he... he uh, he coined the, um, especially when it comes to Ralph Lauren and um, things like that, his method. And it came from our first interview. Um, when we did our first interview, he explained how he does this. So him and his friend met with each other and uh, his friend's a really uh, big business guy. Um, his friend asked him, what brands do you pass by at the thrift store that you could pick up and potentially make a $10 profit on by spending $5 or less? And one of them was Polo Ralph Lauren. So he started doing that. 
and they started selling super fast for him. So if you go through Surf's Up store right now, he probably has sold probably in the last like 90 days, he's probably sold like 200 Polo Ralph Lauren pieces. You can go through and see all that, all that information on his store because it's linked in his uh, profile. But that's why we call it Surf's Up Method. So now I'm picking up brands that I normally wouldn't pick up, but I'm picking it up because we make a super quick listing of it list it, make that $10 profit, get it out the door. You list it plus shipping all the time. So you make it, pick it up for five, list it for $17.99 plus shipping. After fee shipping cost of goods, you should make a $10 profit. And that's why we call it Surf's Up Method. So I, he, he didn't coin it. I, I technically came up with it. And then now everybody just calls it Surf's Up Method. <clears throat> I picked this one up too. This is a North Face, paid $6.50 for it. Just a women's North Face size, small hoodie. Perfect for winter season. Again, this will probably end up in one of our winter whatnot shows. I guarantee you that'll sell for at least $15 on whatnot. It's like almost guaranteed. I, I don't think we've ever sold a, uh, <clears throat> a hoodie, North Face hoodie for under 15 bucks. So that's just, it's a no brainer to pick those up at this point. What is this? Uh, this is a men's XL North Face. XL North Face. Uh, we paid $6.50 for this one. Just a nice North Face quarter zip, solid black. Um, if you notice, these are all green tags. Last week, they ran a different sale. So a lot of people didn't go sourcing there last week. So we're picking up two weeks worth of clothing, which is why we got a decent amount today. Not a huge haul, but a lot of stuff we picked up was super duper cheap. Like this Carhartt that we only paid $3 for. It's an XL tall. I think the other one was an XL tall too. So I might lot both of those together and sell them for like $35 um, plus shipping and sell both of them together and make a nice little $20 profit. What state are you in? What store? I'm in Florida and the store we go to is red, white, and blue. We normally do live thrifts here on TikTok when we do them, but today we brought our mom along and she's learning the rope. So we decided not to do a live thrift, but next week, next Wednesday, we will hundred percent be doing a live thrift and expect more, more live thrifts out of us. It might, might not just be on TikTok. It might be on YouTube. We might pop up on Facebook and do a live thrift. Um, because we're going to be sourcing a lot more now that she's listing, um, by next week, I think she'll be able to, um, handle it by herself to where we can go out and go sourcing and she can still be listing in the background for us. So expect, um, expect more live thrifts from us. What's up, Joel? Uh, what do you think about North face regular athletic shirts? You got to get them cheap, Jennifer, especially if they're in pre-owned condition, you got to get them cheap because they don't sell for crazy money. Do you think Ralph, um, Lauren, uh, four XLTs are good sellers? Absolutely. I love picking up 4XLT, 3XLT, 2XLT, 4XLB, all those sizes. They're unique. They're rare to come by and they normally sell super fast. I think I just sold one yesterday. I think I sold a 3XLT or 2XB. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember what I packed up this morning because I woke up super early and I was not awake when I was packing orders. But um, yeah, they always sell quick for us. Needs to do some teaching about whatnot. Some of their sellers, they need help. Sandy, I agree. <laughs> whatnot, if you're listening to this, if you want to reach out to me and you want to do some video collaborations, I'm 100% down to do it. I'm down to teach people how to do this. Um, me, um, another person that could easily do that is somebody I interviewed here on TikTok. If that interview is up on YouTube, ZK Styles. She built her whatnot following from nothing to something and she doesn't have any socials popping off. It's not like she brought a whole bunch of people from YouTube. She literally grew her following on whatnot. She did it the right way. So that's somebody that can do it too um, and teach a bunch of people how to do it. Did you get your Wayne? Are you the one that sent the Wayne's World hat? Yes, I did. Uh, hang on. Let me go find it. I think it's out there on the table, right? Yeah, it's in one of the chairs. All right. I'm just trying to catch up on comments, guys but I'm pretty sure I just passed everybody. Love ZK Styles. Yes, she's awesome. She has such good energy. Yay, you got it. He did. He's finding it, though. He's looking for it. <laughs> I have to wear it forward, though. I never wear my hats forward, but there you go. We got the Wayne's World hat. I want to get... There's a vintage Wayne's World t-shirt that I want to get, too. It's like an all-over print Wayne's World t-shirt, and I want to get that one. That's going to be a next big purchase. I think they're like 200 bucks. You guys like it? Wayne's World hat? I'm Wayne's not used World. to seeing your hat. Forward. I haven't seen this movie in forever. You should probably rewatch this movie. I forget how you can wear the goes. hat while we watch it. We're, I'm going to wear this hat on whatnot this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to be on whatnot wearing this hat from Mare Bear. Um, make sure you go check out the shows. Let me show you a couple pieces from those shows too. 
Um, for those of you that like Tommy Bahamas, on both shows, we have six Tommy Bahamas that are all crazy Tommy Bahama pieces. So this is just one set of six that we're selling. Here, you want to hold this? Yeah. I just that's want to one. see how long it's going to take you. <laughs> that's two. By the way, that first one was new with tags. That's three. That's four. Size 2XL on that one. That one's obviously brand new with tags. That one's obviously brand new with tags. So crazy. We have this one's a cotton. We have a silk blend. We have 100% silk, all brand new with tags. And then we have the rest of them, I think, are all 100% silk. Really nice Tommy Bahamas. Um, those Ra Do we have any Raiders fans in the chat? This is a pro player, vintage pro player. It's missing the hood. It does have some distressing on the back. You can see right there, some staining and distressing. But this is vintage. Like you want it to show somewhere when you're out there rocking this Raiders pro player all over print jacket. Really crazy, crazy piece right there. <laughs> here's one. Here's one that I like. By the way, this is all on the Saturday show. This uh, The Friday show is already loaded up. I already showed some of those pieces on Instagram. Vintage Guess USA, made in the USA jean jacket. These are super, super rare to come by, especially in mint condition. This thing is in minty, minty, minty condition. Nice little fade to it. No stains on this one. Super, super nice. Vintage guest jacket. Of course, I've already showed this on the live. I'll show it again for everybody who hopped in from surfs. We got a vintage made in the USA, single stitch Jurassic Park t-shirt. A um, couple little flaws on this one, but that's expected because it is vintage. It's got a little mark right there. But I mean, come on, you're you're not going to get a minty. Lily, look, she's got the heart. She's like, listen. I know. Lily, that Lily, is mine. <laughs> Lily wants this because I already, I previewed the uh, other Jurassic Park shirt and she was like, that's mine. I want that one. And she didn't even know this one was going up. So this is even crazier all over print. This is on the Saturday show. Really, really crazy. <laughs> all over. Disney fans in the chat. Halloween's right around the corner. Oh, I love this one so much. This is a How brand cool new with tag. That? There's your tag. It's cut off, but it's still brand new. Trick or treat, Disney, happy Halloween. Flannel, it's got the hit on the front. Big, big hit on the back. Super, super nice. Disney flannel, brand new. Um, this is probably one of my favorite pieces because I know how well these sell and I know how unique these are. They're super hard to find. It's a men's medium, 100% viscose, I think is how you pronounce it. Harley Davidson Hawaiian shirt. It's got the Harleys all through it, and it says Harley Davidson all through it. Super, super nice. Nice, silky feel to this one. If you know, you know. These are really hard to come by, and they sell for really, really good money. So Harley Davidson, little flannel, and then... For sure, women's item. I kind of went. Oh, we have this. Lulu, Lulu lovers. Lulu and Lily and Lulu and Lily. There's a women's Lulu lemon. I think it's a size four or six. If you go look at the title, it'll tell you exactly what size it is. It has a size dot in it. But nice Lulu lemon jacket, full zip, super super nice. Um, again, I don't know the size off the top of my head. If you go over to the whatnot show, it'll yeah, tell you what know. size it is. I have the size in the title. So go bookmark both shows. We have a Friday and a Saturday show this week. And those of you who like Lily Pulitzer, nice little women's Lily Pulitzer. There it is right there. Nice Lily Pulitzer dress. This one is a size six. There's the back zip. Has a little um, seashell detail on it. Nice little Lily piece right here. And of course, some of the stuff you guys saw tonight from our live, that'll be ended up on Whatnot. Everything starts at a dollar. Um, if you haven't signed up for Whatnot, there's a link in my bio or in my profile um, on Facebook. If you go to my pin post, you can sign up for whatnot. You get $15 credit to spend for free um, when you sign up. So literally go get your 15 bucks. Sergio, I don't know. I'd have to look that one up. I have no clue. I've never heard of that brand before. I don't even know how to pronounce that last name. Uh, do you think Kids North Face Jackets would sell for the right price? Yes. What do you use for cross-listing? I use List Perfectly. Again, I have a link in my um, pin post on Facebook. If you go through that link, um, you'll get 30% off your first month. Where do you sell all your stuff? eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. And then I just showed you a bunch of stuff that we sell on Whatnot. So go bookmark those shows if you haven't already. I'm going to make a post probably tomorrow. I'm going to have everything for both shows loaded up tomorrow afternoon. That's my goal. Um, now that we got mom working for us, Literally, it's a godsend because she can list 
She's actually doing super, super good with listings. Um, we've listed 20 for the last three days. <clears throat> Even on the first day she started, we got 20 done, which is crazy. I thought we'd only get like five or 10. Um, tomorrow, I think she's going to be able to get like 30 to 40 done. Like that's how fast she's going and everybody's working together. So because of that, I'm able to load up the shows super fast. Is Kat doing a show Friday? No, she's doing hers every two weeks. So I jumped into the Friday slot this week. So we're going to have two 50 item shows. I might add a couple more than 50, to be honest, but two 50 item shows. Which one you make the most on eBay? Um, are you putting the green North Face hoodie? Um, are you putting in the green North Face hoodie? Which one? That small one? I can, if you want me to throw that up. I can throw that up on whatnot. I'll do that. Women's size small. That'll be up on whatnot. I'll throw it in. Where's the Raiders jacket? The Raiders jacket, I just showed it. The Raiders jacket. You want to see it again? Uh, what do you think would be a good price, Jennifer, for, oh, it depends on the North Face jacket. There's so many different ones out there. You have to look up comps. Okay, I'll put it up. I got you. Um, do you have a smooth, easy way to get measurements and put them in your listing? Always a pain. We take our measurements and we put it in the description. So we don't take photos of our measurements. We always write them in the descriptions below. Let me show that Raiders um, jacket one more time, and then I'm going to go ahead and head off. I'm pretty tired tonight. I'm tired. Here's that Raiders all over. Again, it has some staining a little bit on the back, but it's expected. It's a vintage Raiders all over print. You don't want to go to a Raiders game and have Raiders gear that doesn't have a little bit of dirt on it. Really, really nice all over Raiders jacket. What size is it? It's a men's size XL. All the sizes, everything you see on these racks behind me is loaded up on the whatnot shows and all the sizes are in the titles. So if you want to know what size anything is, that is over on whatnot right now. Go check it out. Go bookmark the show while you are there. We're going to have a crazy good show. Oh, we should tell, talk about the giveaways. We'll grab oh, those yeah. bags. Okay, we're doing something different with giveaways. I love the thing that Chris does. Chris loads up a bunch of different shoes in the Buy It Now, and you guys get to pick which shoe you want. So instead of running one shoe, um, and you guys can only take from that shoe, now what we're going to do is hopefully by next month, I'll have like 40-ish pairs of shoes that you guys can choose from. So if you're a size 8, you can pick a size 8 from the, the, from the Buy It Now. So if you win the Buyer Appreciation Giveaway, you get to choose your shoe. And we have women's Panda Dunks. For this week, um, I have lots of shoes over there that I'm going to load up in the buy it now. So these are women's size nine and a half pair of dunks. I actually literally just bought these today from, from... I'm going to bed, guys. Oh, she's going to bed. Have a good night. She's tired. Have a good night, everybody. Um, we have some... By the way, shout out to the shout out to the manager at Finish Line. Uh, I'll tell you that story in just a second. That guy's a complete douche. But here we go. Another. Uh, this is a men's pair of panda dunks. So if you win the buyer appreciation, you can choose from any of these shoes. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get a full-size run of dunks. So that way, you guys can pick from all the dunks on whatnot. Yep, these are all buyer appreciations on whatnot. Here's, I think this is called the Rose Whisper. I think it is. Women's size 10. So we're trying to get one in every size. So we started out with three or four pairs this week. We're going to get some more. I do have some ones over there that I can load up. So we're going to be loading all of these in to the buy it nows. Of course, we're going to load them in for a high price because I don't really want them to sell. They're just specifically so you guys can choose what pair you want to pick. What size for men's? The men's is a size 11, 11 and a half. Um, I would have had two more pairs of dunks, but the guy at finish line literally would not sell them to me. Um, the rule at finish line is supposed to be you're supposed to be able to get one skew per person. So I went in. And I was like, you have men's dunks, you have women's dunks. I want two of the women's dunks, two of the blacks pandas. I want two of the men's pandas and I wanted the Rose Whisper. And he told me that I could only buy one pair of panda dunks per person. I said, okay, so I want one men's and one women's. That's two different styles. It's not the same shoe. It's a completely different shoe. And he's like, no, I can only sell you one pair of pandas. So I was like, okay, my wife's with me. So she can grab a pair of pandas too, right? And then he like looked around and realized that Kayla was with me and he's like, shit. Okay. Yeah. She can buy one. And I said, okay, my mother-in-law is with me so she can grow up. She can buy a pair too. Right. And he's like, well, yeah, technically she can buy a pair too. So then he went to the back and he only grabbed two freaking pairs of dunks, two pair, pairs of pandas. And then he wouldn't go back and grab the third pair, even though we had another person with us. But the rule is I've looked it up. It's one skew per person. So it's not one. St even if he says one style, the two panda dunks are two completely different styles. It's a men's and a women's style. 
So I'm probably going to go back tomorrow and grab the other pair just to be spiteful, even though I don't really need to just because that guy was a complete dick. So yeah, I don't understand what the deal is because dunks aren't even reselling for over retail right now. They're pretty much selling for retail. So it's not like even if I was a reseller buying those, I'm not going to sell them for a profit. So yeah, exactly. Uh, Jen, there was literally a guy there that was helping us that was going to grab all five pairs and sell them to me. And then this manager comes out of the corner, comes up to us. He's like, Hey, what's going on here? I was like, what do you mean? What's going on here? And then he went into the spiel about how I can only have one skew. So what does he gain by that? I don't know. He's protecting his store. He doesn't own the store. It literally makes no sense. He would have had another $220 in sales today, literally $200, $220 extra in sales today. Um, but I'll just go in tomorrow and buy them. And I got a $15 coupon. So I'm literally going to get them $15 off just because that guy was a complete dick. So, oh, well, I hate those managers. Me too. I, I almost said it to him. I was going to say it to him after I checked out because I know if I said it before he checked out, he was the kind of guy that would cancel my transaction. But I was going to be like, you do realize these aren't reselling for a profit right now, right? So I'm clearly not a reseller. I'm just buying these shoes. Um, so yeah, but I didn't because I, 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 I'm going to go back there tomorrow and pick up both pairs. So. Is this at Kohl's? No, it was at a uh, finish line, finish line, but that's cool. We're going to have those pairs loaded up and we're probably going to have like six other pairs of hype sneakers loaded up into the buy it now. So if you guys win that buyer appreciation giveaway at the end of each live, we're doing one on each of those 50 item shows. So you guys have limited chances to get in and you guys can get a crazy cool pair and you can get it whatever size you want, whatever style you want. That's going to be loaded in. Um, so I'm pumped about that. I hope to, um, pretty soon get a whole size run of dunks in every colorway. So that way you guys can literally pick whatever color dunk you want. So yeah, dude clearly hates your job. does question for you. Speaking of the guy who came up with this, Chris at peak, um, he's the one who uh, coined this, this way of giveaway. So I'm kind of copycatting Chris. I'm, I'm picking back and off of uh, Chris and Jody's in the chat too. Friday night, I'm going to be rating Jody's show after our show. So after our 50 item show, I'm going to send you guys to Jody's show. What'd you have for dinner? Uh, we had pizza. We had pizza for dinner and we had um, Red Robin for lunch. Sorry, just jumping on. How was the thrift today? It was good. It was good. No live thrift today. So we, you don't expect one because we didn't do one today, but next week we'll be back on the live thrift train. I don't see them on whatnot. They're not loaded in yet. I literally just picked it up today. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to finish loading everything up. Last week, we gave away a pair of Yeezy slides and a pair of the new Jordan fours. I'm going to have, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You'll see. Hold on. I didn't even realize. I forgot I had these because these just came in today too. These are going to be loaded up too. So for those ladies in the chat, you, you ladies are going to have a lot of selection. So hopefully one of you ladies win. But we got another pair of the Jordan 4s that came out last week. These are also going to be loaded in to the buyer appreciation giveaway. So you guys can choose from these as well. These literally just came out last week. I just got my pair in. I got another, I got another two pairs on the way and these are a six and a half youth. So these are a lady size eight. So those ladies in the chat, you'll have a lot of pairs to choose from six and a half. So eight, eight women's, eight women's eBay approved a refund, a refund subject on an item being returned buyer mailed, but I never received it. Um, it was rejected from the post office. How do I recourse? You'd have to contact the post office. There's nothing eBay can do because the buyer did ship it. So um, at the, if the post office refused it, I don't know. You'd have to contact the post office to see why they, ref why they refused it. You never have my size. I have huge feet. So, Jen, what size do you have? What size do you need? Cause I'm going to get a full size run. Um, there was a lot of bigger size women's stuff, but I didn't pick that stuff up. Cause normally the eights to the eights to uh, tens are like the best sizes to pick up. Just get men's. Yeah. You can get men's too, but I don't pick up small men's sizes either. Um, I normally only pick up like men's size nine and a half to 11 and a half. So is it red, white, and blue? Bradenton doing color tag discounts yet? Last time I went, they didn't have, they don't do the same codes that they do at the one. They have like two half off and one 25%, but they never have four colors half off and one not half off. So I don't know how they do it there, Vegas Shark. Um, I'll have to I'll have to ask them next time they go. I thought they were only going to do that for a couple of weeks, but they ended up doing it for, they still do it. So because we went um, two Two weeks ago, I think is when we went and they still were doing the 25% off rule. Size 11, which is a men's. Okay. We'll, we'll have a size of women's 11s. Trust me. We're going to get all the sizes in the next month. So how sales been sales have been 
great. I literally just sold. I can show you guys this. I'm going to pack it up tomorrow on live. So come back and um, hang out. Yesterday, I sold a Bonobo suit jacket for $75 on Poshmark that I paid $8 for. So that was a good one. And then I literally just sold this right before I went live. So this is a vintage Ralph Lauren women's wool sweater. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably is not going to focus, but I sold it for 140 bucks and I paid $6.41 for it. So that was a really, really good sale. Vintage Ralph Lauren. Um, I think it was made in the USA, sold for $140 free shipping. Really good sale. So red, white, blue Tampa. Is it worth it? Yes. All the red, white, blues are always worth it. Um, some price things higher than others, but they're still worth it. But yeah, I'll pack that up on, that was eBay, yeah. I'll pack that up um, tomorrow morning on live. I think I have 10 sales to pack, even though I packed up a couple sales when I got home today. So sales have been good. Um, so that woolen prints bowl you told, uh, told you about 52 plus ship in two days. Let's go. That's awesome. Uh, what if you have a men's Ralph Lauren wool sweater? It depends. That one's a vintage Ralph Lauren wool sweater. So that's why I went for so much money. So it's TikTok block my comments. Probably not, Joel. I, I just haven't pay, been paying attention because I've been opening all my uh, all my packages. All right. Shout out, Mirror Bear. Thank you for the hat. I'll be rocking this on whatnot on uh, Friday night. Friday night, 8.30 p.m. And then Saturday night, 8.30 p.m. We got two back-to-back -back shows Friday into Saturday. Again, crazy giveaways this weekend. So make sure you go bookmark those shows. I'll be live again tomorrow morning packing up orders. But I'm about to hit the hay because I am super-duper tired. Appreciate you guys hanging out. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.